Hello, Tracy Lou here. How you doing? Um, I'd like to share with you a make I've done for a swap that I'm in uh, with a face group. No, Facebook group even. Excuse me. Here we go. One of them days. Um, called Fifty Shades of Crazy Crafters. And my partner is a lady called Shanika. Shanika, I hope, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. If not, I apologise. Um, right, so, onwards and upwards. It's an 8-inch hoop, uh, embroidery hoop, that we have, um, or I have, should I say, um, decided to alter. And on the back, I've used... First editions uh, paper and that came from the Silent Night collection. On the front I've used uh, paper from the Do Crafts Paper Mania capsule collection, the O'Donnell. Uh, that looks blue doesn't it? That isn't blue, that is actually turquoise, really pretty turquoise. Right, going back to the capsule collection, that's the capsule collection beautiful paper it really is 160 gsm don't know what weight that works out to in america i think that's about a 65 pound weight and the one i used is this one here in the corner here it's beautiful i've got it in a couple of different um colors but that one's the actual odonnell really is stunning paper i don't know if you're getting to see all of those absolutely stunning it's so English. Can I say that? I already have. That's up. Anyway, I've been told I ramble. So I've got to stop rambling when I do these videos. I talk too much. It has part and parcel of me, I'm afraid. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So, yeah. So that's the paper. Yep. Now, back to these. This bird cage, bird, and Shanika's name, I cut out using my... Silhouette Cameo. God, I love that machine. Um, but her name, I cut out three times. Taff, please. Oh, sorry, Taff's the cat. Please don't knock anything off. Um, she's sitting to my right, or moving around now to my right. Um, cut out three times. And then using my Nouveau glue pen, stacked them up, one on top of the other. A little bit of whatever on there um, and glued them together just to give them a bit of extra thickness and then on the top layer I added some glamour dust which is by Descartes can you see that love this stuff now this is my second bottle which I haven't yet started my first bottle and it's the crystal by the way yeah. By Deco Art Glamour Dust. I swear by this stuff. It's so fine. I brought my first bottle, I think it was about seven years ago. And this is what I've got left. It's that, that same size. But look how fine that is. And that's, I mean, I've used this so much. And that's what I've got left. But. I use it Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, um, you name it, I use it. Love the stuff. And that was what I had in that tub. And it just seems to go on. I swear it multiplies itself. It's brilliant stuff. You can get hold of it and you like using just a little bit of glitter. That's the stuff to use. Hold on. It does get everywhere. Um... So that's what I used on Shanika's name and the bird's wing. This little saying here, beginnings are wonderful things, I found on the internet and um, downloaded and printed off my using my printer obviously and ink edged it using Tim Holtz Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. And also with this, I did use this to make the colour for these roses. These ones here. 
because we were tasked um, part of the swap was to use a colour that you don't normally use. Well, I don't, although I love the colour turquoise, and I found out um, recently that Shanika likes the colour turquoise and purple. So I thought, okay, two birds, <laughs> pardon the pun, one stone. Um, that's what I'll do the embroidery hoop with. So I didn't have, the only flower I'd got in that colour was the cherry blossom and the gardenia. But of course, obviously, I needed more flowers than that to do what I wanted to do. So, using the peacock feathers on a board, on my glass mat, added a drop of water, and then I coloured the roses myself to get the desired colour that I needed. Um, so that's those bits. These are wild orchid craft flowers, the gardenia, the roses, the cherry blossom. I can't remember what these are called. They look like mini croissants, but they're not croissants, obviously. But I just can't remember what they're called. And also these little um, white ones. Again, I can't remember what they're called. I do apologise. Sorry, Wild Orchid Crafts. Not that you'll be watching, but hey-ho. One can live in hope, can't one? Um, the lace came from Ireland. Uh, there's some flat back trim pearls in white. Then the applique I got from a friend in a um, large village, small town that I live in. Uh, there's some more down here as well. As you can see, the majority of it was here. Absolutely beautiful. I do love applique. And then some just nice die cut leaves here and there and then some satin ribbon and I think that's it ah oh, except for the little old ladybird I've got a thing about ladybirds butterflies but my main thing is the hedgehogs or bush pigs as I like to call them and if I can't put a bush pig on then a ladybird or a butterfly goes on well I couldn't really put a bush pig on here or a late, um, hedgehog so a little old wooden, not old obviously, but new one. A little old uh, ladybird went on there, which I thought gave it a nice little quirky. Actually, I think maybe a spot of Wink of Stella on these will jazz that up just nicely. What do you think? Yeah, yep, that, yep, okay, I'll do it then. Yep, right, Wink of Stella, and then that will wing its way off to Shanika tomorrow. Because husband said he'll take it to the post office for me. Absolute diamond. So that's my um, altered embroidery hoop. And I'm just hoping that Shanika likes it when it gets to America, which should take, will be in well about 10 days, give or take um, weather conditions, etc. etc. So thanks very much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.